G'day, today we're going to have a look at level 28 in the Train Valley 2 DLC of Emerald. This one is called Clash of the Titans. We have 18 and a half minutes. We have to avoid train crashes and not allow any trains to arrive at the wrong station. So those usually suggest that it's a hefty level where you've just got to sort of like push for time and just make sure you don't make any mistakes. This is my first look at this one. So let's have a let's get an idea of what we're doing here. So we have... Uh, workers down here that want a bunch of things, workers down here that want a bunch, and workers there that want a bunch. Over here, we don't have anything except for, uh, like all of these guys are just workers and electricity. Seems like electricity is a big deal in this one, and then we've got the oil is the other thing that we need to get connected somewhere. So we've got 23, everything's divisible by 6 not four so those first couple those first things are four and then it drops into sixes so obviously there's intentions that we're updating our trains um so let's start by getting this guy connected to the loop uh and this guy connected to the loop Uh, and I guess that's it. I guess that's what we're starting with. Looks like we can afford to do anything else at the moment. Okay, so I assume we've got to tunnel through that to allow this guy to get through. So he's going to be a little while before we get access to him. Alternatively, we can run him through this one here. Just have him turn that way. Real slow burn at the moment. Let's um see if we can now get this guy in here. Not yet. As, soon as we can, we can at least get more guys on the move that way. So what I'd say is we probably want to get more guys connected to these gems too. So having a look at this, um, our electricity is here through this tunnel that's only connected to by these two guys. So to get access to... Um, electricity we basically just need them just running and since that guy's based on a timer that says to me that I really need to get guys going as, uh, as soon as I can these gems here must only be for the delivery it's one delivery that this guy needs Now, in terms of oil barrels, he needs 12, he needs 18. So we need 30 of those. We've got 24 guys in there at the moment, so we definitely spare to have more heading that way. So what I say we need? 30. And we've got 24, so we just need six more guys. So we'll send this guy, uh, and then we'll follow him up with a train from here. And we can buy that. So I'm going to do that. Because I think that this will be an interesting little money-making scheme too. But I don't know how much these gems are going to be worth. But if that guy's just delivering gems, um, why not? So what then we'll also want to do is get these guys connected in and start getting workers over to them. Because if we can get uh, workers in there, then we will... Um, just sort of make something as this comes in. See, so that's now just going to be... Would well, that cost us 16,000? And we're going to get hit straight away with um, 12,000. So we've almost paid our investment back there. And you can see how fast the next one's coming. 
We need workers in there because, um, because if we don't have the workers in there, like I can go in there. It's a mistake, but it's fine. So we've got to. This guy's got to hurry up. Because that seemed like a pretty fast train. I think that's a six-seater train, so we've got to tell him to stop if we can. Why did you just do a full full loop and come back? Sorry, buddy. We'll deliver you in there. Just get you out of the way. Okay, now the other thing is that this isn't currently connected to anything. So what we need to do is just that. So that electricity is now in the mix. Now we don't have anyone connected to anything, courtesy of these guys just running around the loop. Every time this guy goes, I need to send more workers. The problem is that that guy takes... Oh no, he doesn't claim one of my trains. The problem is he's just faster than my, my trains. Really. But he is a... I was going to say, he's a fantastic investment, but I'm only receiving as many um, uranium that's, that's currently available here. So we do want that electricity just sort of flowing... can see we've cleared out at least three, so... Okay, when it comes to the canned goods... Um, we need... He needs 12, he needs 18, we need 30 of them as well. I'm going to start moving these guys. I think that we just need to make some money fast. So again, we're only going to get two of the delivery here, but... I mean, no real butt to it, but we've got to do something, I guess. We basically just need the money to be able to have more guys uh, in place. Um, got so few trains. Can I? Good. So we're at least jumping straight to four seaters here. So let's get those guys all done. Let's move that guy along. Um, I realize he's costing me money every time I have to send that guy. How much does this tunnel cost me? 32,000. Alright, I'll spend that investment because this guy's closer. Then, um... Everyone else. So, let's get those two guys coming along here. We'll just drop them off into the food since we need 30 of that anyway. They may as well keep going. Missed our um, guy that needed to slot in for that previous um, uranium drop off. Send that guy in, but I mean, we're, like, we're at capacity for what we need there. Um, so let's send this out. Really doesn't feel like we're doing this in an efficient way.
I do think getting that um, that system in the middle going early is worth it. Though it is costing me a lot of money to have those um, workers keep going in there. But I am if I if four workers do arrive, I get four thousand back. So I am getting sort of a money back uh, system working for me. Um, let's keep going with this. So that's the twelve for that done. So then we need eighteen more with this. So he needs three more guys delivered in there. Everything else in this, though, is just... Um... Uh, is just single serve, sort of. I think that's what we really need to do for them. That guy doesn't need to face back that way. Uh, and we should have enough money that we can start upgrading now. So, so we do a double upgrade on that guy and then we send six workers down this way. A double upgrade on him. Send six workers down. Missed our um, moment to uh, uh, keep having electricity just running. Okay, so we've delivered that. So he only needs 18, so he is done. This guy we will send over into the rocket just as being the furthest thing away. So for the rocket, we need 18. Sent the four seater guy, so that's useless. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop that guy. Let's tell him to go back. And then as my five-seater train... Oh, sorry. As the five-seater train arrives, I'll upgrade him. Tell this six-seater to go down. Put him connecting in there. And we'll send this six-seater as well, just being the closest guy. Uh, we can't upgrade that guy just yet. I don't think there's any point in sending another lot of those guys in. Let's get back to this guy and we'll send him. So, we needed 18 rockets, so this guy will go off to rockets as he passes here. Let that guy go that way. This guy will follow him as well. And so will that guy. Who sent the four? This guy's the four. Turn around, go back. It's gonna be annoying four until you're gone. Okay. There we go. Four gone. Okay, so this guy will send that way. Uh, we'll then send, uh, two guys from here. And one guy from here. That'll all go down that one. I want to send more workers, but I don't think they're going to make it before that block kicks out. Uh, we will send these guys home this way. I'm not doing, I'm not doing a good job at all of keeping that on. Um, which I would say is my biggest problem. And if I have to redo this, what I need to focus on. Now these guys all have 18. Let's just do a quick check. You just rock it. So the two of them making 18 is for this guy. Boxes and fuel we're moving across are being done for this guy. Computers. Okay, so we need 18 more computers on top of what we've currently got set up. So 
So with the two of these, this guy will actually end up with 14 people in there, I believe. So we can just send that as a small sort of group of three. And then what we need is 18 more guys down into the computer system. Hopefully not so fast that anyone gets lost in there. So we'll just keep an eye on that. 100% I can buy the train. Whoop, where are you off to? No. Can I correct that again? Good. Let's just stop you there. And this guy. Okay, so that guy will be accepted. This guy will be accepted. And that guy waits. Okay, then uh, this is still being worked on. He needs the computers first, so we will send these guys home over this way. One more computer just needs to be made. Sorry, two more computers. So they're all done. Um, we can then start to send these guys. We can't get all three of them yet, but we can get at least two of them moving. Alright, great. So that guy's done. Send the two of these over there. Not sure if I miss sending guys, but we definitely need them going. We'll send computers so the computers will start working again. As the computers go by, we can then send the rockets because they just back in behind that low order of computers. Looks like we're in a pretty good position at the moment. Five minutes still. And. Okay, then with that guy done, we will send these boxes and then behind those boxes we'll send this oil I just want to double check, it was just avoiding crashes and having people arrive at the wrong station. So we're still fine for that. It will then just be, we need to send these guys home. So we can probably speed things up a tiny little bit. Just because we're waiting for this to get made. Send him home. Done. Not too bad, that one. Real time, pretty good. Game time, not too bad. Fun's right in the middle. Any uh, questions or comments, feel free to check them below. And until next time, catch you later.